Cool, hey guys, my name is Ryan White and welcome to High Point Music's online video tutorials. So what we're gonna cover in today's lesson, guys, I'm gonna take you through, show you how to play that iconic cream tune, Sunshine of Your Love. So that's one of the most iconic, I guess, guitar-based tunes that we could probably learn from the rock genre. Also, Jimi Hendrix did a really, really awesome version of that one as well. So that's worth checking out if you guys haven't heard that at home. But before we get started, guys, taking you through this tune to add to your repertoire, there's going to be a lesson accompanying this. I've done up one using a really good backing track that's going to be in the members area for you all. And what it is, it's a basic introduction to the concept of improvisation. So if you're just a beginner starting out, that's going to be really, really valuable going through a few techniques, a basic introduction to some scale work. And also, even if you're an advanced player, that one's going to be really beneficial just picking up those extra resources in the members area like the backing track for example, to practice your improvisation too. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's jump in and take you guys through the steps we're gonna to need to play this tune. Cool, guys, so let's get started and jump straight into this opening riff. All right, so part number one, guys, we start off with our third finger on the 12th fret on the D string, and what we've got is this riff here. Alright, so let's go through that step by step. So the first four notes we're looking at is one, two, three, which our first finger drops back to on the tenth fret on the same string, and then the fourth note is back on the twelfth. So that part there is one, two, three, four, just like that. I'll do it again for you guys. So one, two, three, four. Cool, so following on from that, we've just gone our third finger comes straight up to the A string here, and we go 12, 11, 10. Like that, so it's... So it's 12, 12, 10, 12, 12th fret, 11th fret, 10th. Okay, once more for you guys, so 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, just like that. And then to finish it off, guys, our first finger comes up to the E string here on the 10th fret, and we go 10th fret, 13th fret, and usually on that 13th fret, we put a little bit of a bend on it. Bit of inflection there, very slight bend. Okay, and then back to the 10th. So depending on the mood I'm in or what position I find myself in, I'm probably going to use my fourth finger. That's just me personally, but for you guys out there, third is perfectly A-OK -okay for that one. All right, so just recapping that part there. So we go. So that's something which is really, really important, the inflections, that little bend I put on that second last note there, which is often overlooked when you're learning something. So getting into a genre, it's really important to sort of not only start to learn the notes to play these riffs, but also starting to identify the stylistic characteristics of a genre. So that way you guys in future, when it comes to your own playing, if you want to create different sounds by becoming aware of this stuff, you can actually just know exactly how to create it which is really really empowering so if you want a rock sound you know what's going to give you that rock sound and taking it to another level you can actually start breaking down guitar style and going alright cool they're using a little bit of this a little bit of that and it gives you the power to create your own style in the way that you want to but okay next part let's jump back on in on the fretboard so part number two guys after that we're starting off with a power chord so this is the part like that. So coming in we've got our first finger on the 10th fret on the D string, our third finger is on the 12th fret on the A string. So we've got these two notes like that. So that's a D5 power chord there guys. And we're going to strum. So, so one, two, three, four. Just like in the opening riff where we had we're just recreating that down the octave with the fifth power chord style harmony. So we're going. OK, 
Okay, and then the next notes are exactly the same where we go 12, 11, 10. So that's one, two, three, four. And once more for you guys. So. Cool. And then the next part there, we're actually using a hammer on. So we start with our first finger on the 10th fret where we go. So we're hammering our third finger onto the 12th fret. So it's like that, strike the note, and then place the third finger down. And then the third note is on the 10th fret on the G string, so like that. Hammer on, pick, and then finishing off with our third finger on the D string there. So putting that whole riff together now, guys, we go. Little bit of inflection, bit of a, a bit of vibrato, try and say that quickly, and then back to the 12th fret there. So, okay, guys, so for the second riff, we're actually just going to be transposing it up a fourth, just like in the blues. So, let's jump back in on that one, and we've got our G5 power chord here, which is our first finger on the 10th fret and then our third finger on the 12th fret on the D string. So what we're doing is, same deal, so one, two, three, four, like that. One, two, three, four, and again. All right, following on we go 12, 11, 10. So, straightforward for you guys to practice that part and then we just move instead of going or up there we're just going to finish off by going at 10th on the A string 13th fret on the A string as well so that's 12 11 10 10 I should say So we do that twice, and then we go back to the original riff. All right, guys, so we're three quarters of the way there with this one. So let's jump on to the chorus section, and then that you guys will then have the last part and everything you need to be able to rock this one out. So jumping back in on the fretboard, guys, we're going to go to an A5 chord here. So a little bit easier to control the cutting the chord off here. So we're starting with our first finger on the fifth fret on the E string, third finger goes on the seventh fret on the A, and then we have our fourth finger on the seventh fret on the D string. So pretty much with our strumming pattern, we're going one, two, three, and then we're cutting the sound off really subtly, Su subtly, not so subtly, I should say, I meant to say suddenly. But anyway, so one, two, three. So a few different muting techniques you can look at for this one. You can go relaxing your hands at the same time. So just letting the pressure fall off that chord. And also if you want to be doubly sure, particularly if you're rocking it out, putting a lot of force through the strings, you can just take the edge of your right hand and just place that across the string. So even if you don't relax the pressure on your left hand, that's going to be really sufficient with cutting off the sound. So, so fail safe using both of them together, you can't lose. So that's the strumming pattern. On the A5, we go one, two, three, one, two, beats rest. So one, three, four, three, four. And then we're gonna move that same power chord shape to the third fret on the A string. So first finger on the third, fifth, fret has our third finger sitting there and then our fourth finger lives on the fifth fret on the G string there and again we're going to be targeting these three strings and the same deal with our strumming on this one we're just going to be going one two three 
Okay. One, two, three. But instead of the two beats rest, we're going to move that chord shape up a string to a G5 shape, like that. And we're going to do the exact same strumming pattern. One, two, three. So putting that all together, we go one, two, three, one, two, three. And again, one, two, three, one, two, three. Last time, guys, so one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so putting that whole chorus progression all together now, we go three, four, C5, G5, A5, one, two, three, two beats rest, three, four, A5, three, four, So we'll pause it there. So we actually play through that progression three times, just like that in a row. So we go A5, two beats rest, followed directly by C5 with the strumming pattern, and then moving that to a G5 on the string above. So after we go through that three times, guys, we go straight back to an A5 power chord, and this is how we're gonna finish the tune, all that part of the chorus section, I should say, off. So let's jump on in, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just eight strums, just like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So to give you guys a bit of context, I'm just going to play it from the last time through the chorus section, and then we're going to tail it out using that A5. Three, four. Okay, so as long as you've got a really good handle on your power chords, this tune is going to be a pretty easy one to get under your fingers, but it's also going to be a really, really fun one for you guys to be rocking out to, as it's such an iconic riff. So good guys, just before we wrap up, don't forget to check out the lesson that accompanies this using, uh, it's a beginner's guide to improvisation, using this song as a basis, because it is such an iconic track. There's backing track, scale diagrams, all extras to go with that lesson in the members area. Be sure to check that one out, even if you're an advanced player. But pretty much, guys, if you've enjoyed today's lesson and the content featured, feel free to hit those subscribe, like, and share buttons. You can also show your appreciation for the work we do by hitting the PayPal donate function in the button, I should say, in the description below and just throwing any amount that you think represents the value of the content that we're offering on this channel. If you guys got any requests or uh, questions you'd like to ask me, Directly and more than send an email to learn at highpointmusic.com.au. I'm happy to look at those as time permits. But if you want to get my help personally, the best way to do that is to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation online via Skype. So that way I can via our HD uh, learning space online. I'm more than happy to have a look at your playing. Give you guys all the tools and techniques so you can get your playing up and going to that next level as soon as possible with a personalized program. All right, guys, have fun with this one. Rock it out. Don't forget to check out that next lesson. I look forward to seeing you guys in future videos.